bargains. We just bought this BMW 118D. Money pit or bargain, we'll find out. We paid £550 for this car. Stick around to see if we make profit. Because this car has been puffing out blue smoke and the check oil level light has been coming on. So it could need a new engine, but fingers crossed it might be turbo seals. Let's see what happens when we take it for a drive. So we're going to see if the oil level sensor sends a code or if it starts smoking, but so far it's been absolutely perfect. Can't believe we got this car for 550 quid because it's driving mint, but touch wood, I think it should be fine, you know. As you can see, there's no smoke coming out the exhaust at all. I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you guys if it starts smoking, but it seems good for now. We're going to get it on some ramp, do a full service, and then we'll take it for another run, see if we can get this light to pop up, this uh, oil sensor. So we'll get on with it. Can you not get your hands oily? Whee. Oh! Just in. Oh! Oh! Jesus! Oh my lord! Mmm! Don't forget, when I hit a thousand subscribers, I will be giving away a Deltec toolbox, which you see in pretty much all of my videos. It's a um, quarter inch drive, and it's got all the stuff you need, sockets, torque bits, Phillips head, flat heads, Allen bits, everything like that. As Soon as I hit 1K subs, I'll be giving that away, and this lovely little quarter inch ratchet. It's beautiful, and it could be yours. I didn't break anything. Tom, I didn't break anything. So this is the old one, which is black, and that one's no. so white I can't even expose for it. Uh, onto fuel filter mushes. Very clean under here. Yeah, it's not up here. Yeah. Oh. Uh. So it was about here that we realised that this new fuel filter is just not going onto the car. So the orange plastic bit was too thick for the metal hole. So Tom luckily saved the day. He managed to file just the end of the orange nib off so it's squeezed into the fuel filter and the o-ring still sealed perfectly. Lovely. Fuel filter is officially on. Next we're going to fill up the engine. Oh, about three quarters in between min and max. Precious little hands. The service is all done. Let's give it a start and see what happens. In before, white plumes of smoke coming out the back. No smoke at all. Mate, the steering is like spot on. Suspension is surprisingly stiff, but still comfy. I cannot believe we bought this for 500 quid. It's ridiculous. Yeah. For a car of such sustenance, <laughs> such established credibility. Banging. Now I know what you're wondering. Does it go sideways? <laughs> yes, yes it does. <laughs> Just check the dipstick and it shows that it's bang on in the middle. So all things are coming together now. The guy that had it, the oil sensor was obviously throwing a code to say it wasn't working, I think. Um, he took that as it needs more oil and kept dumping litres and litres of oil in and obviously pressure got too high and just started seeping past the seals. So, I mean, we've ran it, got it up to temp, feels fine, no smoke. So it definitely needs it, but we're going to give it a proper clean, take the seats out, wet back the carpets, give the outside some attention and we'll go from there. Fortune is going to be with this car. Let's have a look. Tell us a fortune. Your engine has blown. Honesty and friendship bring you fortune. They do. Like this car. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're interested in what chemicals or equipment I'm using, I'll list it all in the description. If you do decide to get it through my links, it helps out massively because I get a tiny commission off each sale and all that money gets rolled back into the channel. So more filming equipment, more products, more mods, more things for test.
So I've just finished cleaning the car, it is bloody freezing, but it looks pretty good. The paint's in, in all right condition. It's got quite a lot of chips where the paint's coming off. Bit of lacquer peel, peel on the plastic parts. And yeah, a lot of tar on it and some black spots on the top, which will get off. But I'm going to dry it off and then back out to get the tar off and start clay barring. So just to be sure, Tom daily this car for about two weeks to work and back and it didn't smoke on him once. So we're very, very sure that the issue is completely solved and it's a great runner for the new owner. The car really needed a clay bar in because one side is rough as sandpaper and now the other side glides just fine. So on we get with the whole car. Here, Tom's very kindly using the compound on the bits of the car I couldn't get to with a machine polisher with a hard handheld pad. After the machine polish, straight onto a hand polish finish. For a coating, I used Auto Glim's Lifetime Protection. It's like a false ceramic coating. So, we've just finished cleaning the car. Absolutely knackered. Took it to get an MOT today. Passed, no advisories. I am buzzing Swede, can you tell? Tire shine, done the windows, it looks great. Check this out. It's time for the interior, which I'm not looking forward to. But without further ado, let's get the wet vac and the steam cleaner out and make this transformation. I am definitely having this. The interior of the car is done. Here's how it looks. The difference is crazy. There was like such a thick, horrible layer of grime over everything. Now that's gone. I think it's paint on the back seat, so I can't get that off and there's a little stain somewhere else, but it looks brilliant. I am gonna leave the engine running with the heaters on full whack and the windows open to try and dry it off a little bit because in a plot twist, we've got someone coming to view the car tomorrow and I'll check back in with you so we can analyze how much profit we are getting. Mate. It's gone. So we sold the car this morning. We ended up taking it to trade because we wanted a quick sale and we are buzzing with the result because we got £3,800 for the one series. With a total cost of £959, that leaves us with a profit of £2,741. Mm -hmm. 
and also I'm playing with the idea of giving away a car to a stranger when I hit a thousand subs so definitely hit that button and stay tuned if you want to see more videos like this where we're flipping cars, drifting cars, fixing cars, anything car related we'll do it.